Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, the uh, latest forecast uh, from the Bureau of Meteorology has uh, Tropical Cyclone Nathan uh, crossing the uh, Queensland coast uh, just north of Cooktown uh, in, the, uh, in the morning of uh, Friday, uh, the 20th of uh, March. Uh, preparations are continuing both at the local level and district level. This morning we've had our Disaster Management Group meeting for the district where uh, uh, the number of contingencies, plannings and uh, forward deployments were discussed and uh, they are well and truly uh, underway. What are those, those preparations? A number of the government agencies are forward deploying our resources. Uh, the Queensland Police will be having a number of officers placed in the communities uh, uh, around Cooktown um, and north of Cairns in Port Douglas and Mossman. And how many crews are we expecting uh, and also from the wider emergency services are we seeing more crews flown in? Yeah, from the uh, policing perspective, we've got an additional uh, 37 police arriving today from uh, down south. Uh, they will assist and bolster the policing numbers in those communities to make sure that we've got uh, more than enough police in the areas to uh, reassure the community and also to respond and assist as required. Obviously in this area further north, um, preparations like this aren't out of the ordinary. We were doing the same just last week. Um, does that give you strength that uh, you're ready? Yeah, the, the local and district groups in the far north here are well versed in cyclone preparations and every year uh, we increase our knowledge and improve our uh, responses and I can uh, uh, very clearly state that uh, the responses from all government agencies has been uh, top shelf and the local uh, disaster management groups are well and truly uh, lined up and uh, in the full throes of planning for the event. Yes, I think that's a fair statement. We uh, rely on the uh, great information we get from the Bureau of Meteorology and uh, Nathan, when he approached the North Queensland coast last week, was uh, predicted to do a U-turn and head back out to sea and that's indeed what occurred. Uh, this time, uh, all modelling indicates that there will be the crossing uh, at a Category 3 level at this stage and so uh, all agencies are very much uh, keenly focused on making sure that we've got the resources in place to be able to uh, respond to any issue that arises out of that. Friday will be nine years on from Larry as well, um, and this storm is, is looking pretty similar in its build-up, quite calm at the moment, um, and looks like it'll intensify rapidly over the next few days. Uh, I guess, what, what are the chances of that happening, a, a nine-year anniversary? Well, we are right in the middle of the, uh, the wet season for the far north here and, and as you said, it, was, it will be the nine-year anniversary on, uh, on Friday. Uh, I can say that uh, the response and uh, preparation from all departments and agencies and local level uh, is, uh, is top shelf and uh, will be uh, very much focused on providing the assistance to the community uh, to respond to it. Yeah, well, that all forms part of the planning at the local level. The decisions as to open uh, a place of refuge or, or the shelters themselves uh, is a matter at that local level. Uh, should that occur, I can assure everyone that there will be uh, uh, assistance provided from the state level in the, uh, the staffing of those centres. Um, storm surge uh, is a concern, uh, but the, uh, the local levels and the district level are well aware of the predictions and are taking that into account as part of their planning process. Are there going to be evacuations because of that uh, tide surge? The, uh, the decisions for evacuations uh, rest firmly uh, at the local level in the first instance. As you'd appreciate, we've still got a little way uh, to go um, uh, with uh, the, the modelling and a little bit out. So uh, those decisions as to whether or not that will occur will be made in the coming uh, uh, day or so. The watch zone is still from Cape Melville down to Cairns. Um, as we get closer, but as you say, we won't know, but with that watch zone so large, are you focusing all your efforts just on Cooktown or is there a wider view? No, absolutely. We're, we're looking at the entire area that is uh, given to us uh, by the Bureau of Meteorology. Uh, while the uh, forecast mapping is firming up to being uh, just north of uh, Cooktown for the crossing, uh, we are very much ensuring that we've got sufficient resources right across, across the potential zone. Uh, we are, would much rather be uh, safe in our planning 
uh, then, then sorry after.